Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to look a bit more into the different factors that will differentiate cardio from weights training. And as you might remember from the previous video, weights training is static, meaning that it shunts blood flow going back to your heart, venous return. This means that the external diameter of the heart walls is going to increase. This might sound like a good thing, but it will actually prevent the, your, the ability of your heart walls to receive and eject more blood. And going back to the definition in the first video, cardiovascular training is all about improving the receiving and the ejection of blood, especially by your left ventricle. But this also goes for your right atrium, your left atrium, and your right ventricle as well. From here, I'll, you've probably heard the term cardiac output, and that is often defined by heart rate times stroke volume. Stroke volume being the amount of blood that's being shoved out of your ventricles with each single beat. And your heart rate is obviously how high your heart rate goes in terms of beats per minute. That is true. However though, what we have to remember is the cardiovascular exercise, it has to be dynamic where there's a continuous, continuous flow of blood going in, back to your heart, into your right atrium, into your right ventricle, for then to go into your lungs and being received by the left atrium and then moved out again into your whole body full of oxygen by the left ventricle. So just looking at that definition itself, we can't have a lot of shunting of blood flow going back to your heart. We, we just can't have that happen if we want to classify something as cardiovascular exercise. So looking at doing a lot of kettlebell swings and doing Tabata training, which by the way is not Tabata training, with weights and doing high intensity kind of stuff with weights, you might get your heart rate up but you will probably impair the stroke volume, but more importantly, the arterial venous difference, oxygen difference, sorry, fly, AVO2 difference, the arterial venous oxygen difference, which is the key distinguishing factor between weights and cardiovascular training. So keep that in mind next time you do weights. It might actually have negative impact a negative impact on your heart compared to pure cardiovascular exercise. That is not to say though that it has a lot of other health benefits, but if you have high blood pressure and you're looking to improve overall heart health, it is probably not the best option. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.